Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kayla and I like to share all things planners and paper. And today I have a fun, if not maybe slightly embarrassing video. I'm gonna take you through all of the planners that I own. And most of these were, are for 2022, but some of them I bought last year, or this were in 2021, so some of them I bought last year. 2020. I thought it would be fun to show you guys everything that I have here and kind of explain, maybe just show you the differences between them and in hopes that it might help you pick out your planner or show you brands that you haven't seen yet or just make you feel better if you have a problem like me and you have planners coming out your eyeballs. I've noticed in my last several videos I've gotten really chit chatty and my videos are like 20 minutes long. So guys, I'm gonna try really hard to keep this video short and sweet. So don't expect like an in-depth review of all of these planners. I'm just gonna really quickly flip through them and give you like the basic idea and my thoughts. We're gonna go from there. If I have longer videos, I'll link them above. Let's clear off the space. So this is my Unbound planner. This is undated and I got this last year I, in 2020. This was actually a, um, in exchange for making a video for this company. I did it on a different channel. Yeah, I got this in exchange for a video and I really love it. It's beautiful. I'm a fan of the linen look. So it's linen, hard bound, hard cover. And it's undated so they do have dated versions. I'm gonna link all of these planners below. Yeah, so let's see. I really did like this planner when I was in it. This is kind of like a um, goal setting planner a little bit. They've got like reflection pages and kind of like what you want your goals and your, yeah, like goal brainstorm pages. This is dot grid. Um, annual goal timeline, yearly goals. Wow, they, it is definitely a goal oriented planner. Repeating monthly, weekly, daily habits. Then you've got your year at a glance. So these are all of your opening pages. I'm not going to spend too much time. Quite a bit of like opening pages. And then your months, because this is undated, all of your months are at the beginning. I'm going to get to a month where I don't have anything written. Really simple spread. Very small, I would say, because what size? I want to say this is an A5. A small layout for your month because it gives you a, quite a bit of space over here for this month's focus and things to do. What I loved most about this planner by far is the fact a ribbon here to mark your month and then a ribbon to mark your week. So what I loved by far was how they had the week set up. You have a weekly overview on two whole pages with habit trackers, things to do, priorities, and then you would turn and look at your week at a glance vertical. Monday's start, which I love. So th yeah, that is Unbound, it's gorgeous. You know, I really liked it. I, I mean, every time I look at it, I'm like, man, why don't I use this? I think the reason that I didn't stay using this was honestly the size. I. It is, to me, really tiny. I like to write a lot. Not even a lot. I just like to write, you know, average. <laughs> and it just felt very small. But besides, that's honestly my only drawback. I love everything about this. And they've got gorgeous colors. So anyways, here's one. Yeah, go check them out. I'm leaving them linked below. Moving on, Tidbits Planners. I love Tidbits Planners. I love Cami and all of her products. Um, you should go... Sh Show her some love on Instagram. She's just the sweetest lady. I've been following her for a couple of years. I think I bought the planner and she gifted me a whole box of, of like some of her other products that came with it, like a journal and a notebook and pens. And she was so kind to do that. And anyways, you can see this has got a lot of love. Um, I think my kids have had something to do with this, which is cool that it has this cover that you can keep your planner in. Um, one of my kids drew on there. So anyways, it's nothing bad about the planner. It's just hard life with three boys. So I love this planner. Um, I'll just give you a quick look at it. You've got your tabs. January through December here, plus an extra tab for notes. You have a perpetual dates, little booklet. Yeah, it's very simple. There's not 
too much in here you just kind of get right into it you do have a yearly overview um, and then right into your month so I'm gonna go to a month where I didn't have anything written so this is what your months look like you you get your layout uh, three headers over here on the side then you get a month dashboard page, which I love. I'm really sorry if that heater is very loud in this microphone. It should shut off here in a second. Doesn't assume anything about what you want out of your planner. All of these are empty and ready for you to customize. Then this is what our weekly layout is. This is the bulk of the planner. You've got this shaded in area up here, little habit tracker, three headers along the side, and then your hourly layout for each day. So it's kind of like you get your weekly look and then an hourly spread. So, oh goodness, that heater shut off. <laughs> Honestly, I feel like I would have stayed in this planner um, a lot longer. I did, I mean, I did use the heck out of this planner. Part of this was I had our third baby at the very end of last year, 2020. Yeah, 2020. And I spent a long time recovering from having him just, you know, getting into life with the three boys and I wasn't work. I took some time off of work. And so I just was not in my planner at all. And I feel like I kind of fell out of, well, for one planner life in general, but then this particular planner too. So this has not seen a lot of love from me this year, but that is not because I don't love it. I think that it's a wonderful product that is beautiful and definitely worth checking out. Um, so I'll link her Instagram and her site below. I just recently bought this. This is the Kit Life Planner. Um, I bought this actually to do a giveaway. So I'm planning on doing a full walkthrough of this planner. I haven't done it yet. And then a giveaway here on YouTube. So I just bought this because I couldn't believe the amazing price. It was, I want to say $23. And then I also got a $5 off um, by using Amanda's Favorites, which she's just amazing she's a wonderful youtuber who reviews planners basically she has my dream job <laughs> and she had a code for this and so i decided to do it and so i got this planner which is a full year weekly layout goal oriented for 17 dollars. i'll just give you a quick overview this is their monthly spread it has quarterly check-ins and it has some goal oriented things each month so you get your calendar spread for your month and then you turn right into your monthly check-in page. A lot of space for habit tracking, intentions, all of that. And then we go into your weekly spread, which is kind of similar to the Tidbits Planner where it gives you a week overview up top and then down um, in each section you have, you know, your time lines if you want six through. So Monday through Saturday and then Sunday down here. Yeah, so this is Kit Life and I will link them below. And if you're interested in having like a detailed, thorough walkthrough, and I will be doing a giveaway hopefully in the next two weeks. So keep an eye out. All right, next on my list, my daily plum paper. This is kind of special to me because this planner is the one that got me back into planning and just kind of reignited my passion for planners. It, it's a lot deeper than that, you guys. I mean, I think it comes down to, I really enjoy sitting down at night or early in the morning and being intentional with my time. I think that's what planning comes down to for me is just that it puts a whole emphasis on being intentional. And, and then when you throw in pretty covers, high quality paper. I don't know. It's just, I really love it for some reason. As if you haven't noticed, this is the planner that got me back into this. And I bought this in September of this year. So I've really, I've actually faithfully been using this planner. There's been a couple days where I've missed maybe. Um, but for the most part, I've been using this thoroughly and I I love it. I'm definitely going to go with this one the whole way. I'm not sure if I'm going to do um, plum paper daily after this because I'm so excited to try other planners and there's a couple. I think the Moxie Life, the one that's coming out there daily, I really like that. There's a couple other planners that I want to try, but for what it is, this has been a wonderful planner. It's high quality. Um, oh, let me, I guess I should show you the layout, right? <laughs> so this is the layout for each day. You've got these different sections. You've got your top three. You've got a couple sections, another shaded spot right here. 
Um, anyways, it's completely customizable. I think that's why, that's one of the big reasons I love it is because I started this planner in September. I didn't have to wait, yeah, I didn't have to wait until January to start this. So you can choose the start month, you can choose the layout. There's so many different layouts. You choose Monday start or Sunday start. You can customize the labels everywhere. And then the paper weight itself is 80 pounds and it's just wonderful. So this is my plum paper and this is the one that I typically, if I do plan with me videos, this is what I'm planning in. So yes, only good things to say about this. If you, I don't have an affiliate link with them, but if you are interested in plum paper, I can send you a 10% off discount off your first purchase. All you gotta do is send me your email to my Instagram, which is Paper Me Cute, and I'll send you my referral link. Next up, this chunky lady. Oh my gosh, you guys, I did a video on this. I'll link it up above. But this is my Plum Paper Weekly that I added way too many add-ons. <laughs> no, I didn't add too many. It's just like, it's just so thick that it's already kinda, do you see how how much that is using up the coil already. If I could go back in time, I would have added maybe one or two add-ons, just not five. So this is my plum paper weekly. So it's the same intro as my other plum paper. Um, I got the same color scheme, which is modern, but here, let me just quickly show you the layout of this weekly setup. I got the me layout. Oh, here's their monthly. I love how simple it is. All right, so here's the me layout. Basically, it gives you six columns um, for you to label down the side. I usually do today, to-dos, home, boys, my boys, farm, that kind of thing. Yeah, it just lets you break down your day into six different sections, which I think is awesome. To be honest, like completely honest, I am kind of struggling with this layout. And I think I've only been in it two weeks. So it's November. I've only been in it for two weeks and this is what it looks like. And I am struggling a little bit. This is like, ah, too busy. This is like, I barely used it. So I'm hoping by next week I get it figured out. And maybe it takes a little bit more time. But so far, yeah, I'm kind of like, eh. I'm not 100% sold on this layout, you guys, which is a bummer because I spent some money on this. So if you're interested in seeing the full walkthrough, I'm gonna link that above. I take you through all of these extra tabs that I added, go into way more detail. So there's my Plum Paper Weekly. Next up on my list is Purple Trail. Purple Trail is another very customizable planner just like Plum Paper, maybe even more customizable. And so this is my Purple Trail Weekly from September of this year. Uh, it's a year, so September, so 2021 to 2022. This was given to me in exchange for a video review and I will link that up above if you're curious to, if you're curious to see like a thorough walkthrough and hear all the details about Purple Trail. Really high quality, like everything is customizable. So this is the one that I got in exchange for the video review. So I got a hard cover. Here's their introduction pages. It's very, very simple to the point. And then you go right in. So this is a eight and a half by 11, I believe. It's a huge planner. It's definitely my biggest. Here is my plum paper for size, just so you can see the difference. It is very big. So when you open it up and you have the full two page spread, it feels huge. There is so much space in here to write in. So we've got monthly page, really thick cardstock. It's like very high quality paper, 80 pound paper. This card, and this is cardstock tabs. It's even laminated on the edge. You go to your dashboard page for your month, very simple birthdays, events, things to remember. Again, so much space to write. And then uh, this is the monthly spread. Very simple layout. I think I got the neutral tone, so everything, the ink is black. And you can get colorful. I mean, like you guys, you can get so many add-ons. There's so many different layouts. You can really customize these planners to fit exactly what you need. So this is the layout that I got. Weekly horizontal. There's a spot 
just to write kind of about your day and then a spot for to do's on this side and these are all customizable so I used the clean mama's cleaning schedule which so I just added in like what she does on a daily basis so like Mondays are always bathrooms Tuesdays are dusting so I just kind of added that in to show you guys that you can customize the labels here and that's just what all of the weeks look like and then we get to our next month and then at the very end of this planner I got one of their add-ons which was the unit plan and if you're interested in like having a thorough walkthrough of this and all of their information check out my link below it is an affiliate link if so if you choose to buy something through purple trail and you use my link you're supporting my channel and I super appreciate it all right this beautiful thing is my 2022 goal planner I love everything about this this is my first video that I uploaded to YouTube that's a review, so I'm going to link it above. This is my 2022 power sheets. So if you're interested in seeing like full detail of this power sheet planner, yeah, go check out that video or anybody else's video on YouTube. <laughs> so let me just quickly take you like to the January tab so you can see. Here's January. It's got like a cover or like a dashboard page that's a little bit different than the other planners because it's not about planning your schedule. It's 100% planning your goals. They do give you a monthly calendar and a little dash line to the side, but it's not, it's 100% about breaking down your goals, what lights you on fire, figuring that out and breaking it down into monthly ideas, weekly ideas, daily ideas, and then you have this tending list. This is just something that I am so excited about. I've been kind of working through the prep work, which there is a lot of prep work. Like there's many pages, all of this thick of work you do before you even get into the 2022. So I've been slowly working through the prep work and I, I love it. It's beautiful. I'm, I'm just so excited to see if having having this to check in with once a week, a couple times a week, if it's going to help me feel like I'm moving forward in life and just reaching my goals. I don't know. I'm a very driven, motivated person. And I feel like sometimes like that energy gets lost in the day to day, like taking care of my three boys, <laughs> farm life. We have a little farm. So I'm really excited to get my brain out on paper, be held accountable to the action steps that I laid out that I can move forward, if that makes sense. So yeah, I this is that's what's going on in this situation. So really quick, each month you have important to do's I'm excited for on my mind. I'm hopeful that and then you have, you know, your breakdown of your goals. And then your tending list, which I think is the meat of this planner. This is what you check in with, if not every day, at least once a week. And then your month in review. And then it does have quarterly check-ins that are a little bit more in-depth. Right? Right. Yeah, here we go. Quarterly, like, evaluations. That's what's going on here. I'm really, I'm so excited. I think this has been one of my favorite purchases of all, like, and I'm not even into 2022 yet. I, that's how much I love this and how excited I am about it. So if you're interested in learning more about that, I'll link my video and I do have an affiliate link. So if you use my link to buy one of these, I'll make a small commission at no extra charge to you. So thank you so much for supporting my channel. Next up, I have not made a video review about this yet. So I'm going to do that. However, I've already started working in this. So there's only like so much I can share because it's already got like, you know, some of our financial information. But this is the budget by paycheck from the budget mom. Yeah, one of my goals for this year that I put in here was just our finances. I just love the idea of taking everything that I already have digital and putting it on paper. And I feel like my brain operates up like better that way. I feel like I understand like things don't get crowded in my head as much if I get it out on paper. And then specifically with money, I feel like if you're writing down how much you're spending uh, on coffee or on this on that, it hurts a little bit more than if you just, you know, check your bank account every once in a while. I don't know. It, it, it's accountability and it's helping me be organized. This is a workbook for 2022 
that is specifically for your budget. So you each month you get a layout, a monthly layout that's not labeled. So if you want a Monday start, you can. So you write in the dates, the headers, all of that. And it's specifically budgeting by your paycheck. So each paycheck, you break it down and then you kind of tell, basically these are like an envelope system where, you know, the first part of your paycheck goes to bills and then what's left over goes to your envelopes, your sinking funds, your extra debt, your extra savings. And then we get a cash envelope breakdown and each month comes with that several of those pages for however many paychecks you get that month which for us that's perfect because we get paid a couple times a month and then you get an expense tracker several pages of an expense tracker and then your debt payment plan a monthly net worth tracker where did my money go pages wouldn't we all like to know that Monthly meal plan. I actually did not know that. That's cool. Monthly spending comparison. It's crazy that it's just so detailed. It's a little overwhelming. So each month comes with all of that situation there. Um, you start out by kind of writing down your financial goals. I don't think I can show you all of that because I have some of our stuff written in there. Goals, your sinking funds yearly spending overview. So this is like an all-in-one comprehensive get your financial financial you know what together sister. That's what this is. So I'm really excited. Um, it's a little overwhelming. It's just so much detail but I'm going to try it and I'm going to check back in with you guys and I'm going to link it below. So if you're interested in checking this out it'll be in the video description. So there you have it. There is my planner stack, unfinished, not done, because you guys, there's so many more planners that I want to try. I know, I have a problem. I have a problem. Hopefully this was helpful. Hopefully you saw some planners that you haven't seen before, and maybe you found your perfect planner. Hopefully, if you didn't find your new planner, hopefully you found someone who's as crazy as you. You can find all the links below, and I would love it if you liked this, Go ahead and like and subscribe, and you can find me on Instagram, Paper Me Cute, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!